by Mouse and Frog by Deborah Friedman. One morning, Mouse woke up especially early, eager to write a brand new story with Frog by Mouse and Frog. One morning, Mouse woke up especially early, early, eager to write a brand new story. Once upon a time, Mouse began, in a quiet little home, Mouse woke up early and set the table. For Frog, said Frog. <gasps> Frog, I am busy today, said Mouse. I'm writing a story. Once upon a time, Mouse woke up early and set the table. For Frog, repeated Frog. For tea, said Mouse. And cake, said Frog. Maybe, sighed Frog, sighed Mouse. And the king liked cake, continued Frog, and he came too. What, said Mouse, there is no king in this story. And the king said, let there be ice cream, ta and ta-da. There was ice cream and 117 kinds he liked best. Not inside, it's too melty, said Mouse. He's got a mop. Frog kept going. And the king proclaimed cake and ice cream for all. And so from all across the kingdom, his loyal subjects smelled their most favorite good things to eat. And they flew right over. No, 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 Mouse demanded. And Frog took a deep breath. <gasps> some had two feet and some had four. And some had a comb and a brush and a bowl full of chicken soup with noodles, not rice. And they cheered, we are here, we are here, we are here. We have no end of stinky cheese. And they played bump, bump and tumble and hey, diddle, diddle, I'll fall down. And kerplink, kerplank, do you like my hat? You monkeys, you, I do, I do. What would you do if your mother asked, are you my mother? Have a carrot. They just sat quietly smelling. Ring round the rosies, patty cake, patty cake, Frank and berry mush, and the sky is falling, no more blue. May I bring a friend? Can I drive the bus? I think I can, I think I can, and millions and billions and trillions flew over. Oh, no. Stop! This story is a mess, cried Mouse. Mouse, that was not nice, B -b 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 but said Mouse. Once upon a time, Mouse was trying to tell a story, but Frog bounced and bounced without listening to Mouse. Oh, said Frog to Mouse, I just wanted to help. Then Frog explained to everyone else, this story is Mouse's. So, Frog said, Mouse set the table for tea. Then what happened? Then, said Mouse, Frog came over and they had cupcakes and also played checkers. Frog sighed, but Mouse didn't want any help. Frog. What if... Then Mouse and Frog went out to play outside in a beautiful garden, said Mouse. Play outside, said Frog, in a magical garden with a humongous beanstalk and a giant and fee fi fo Frog, not again, squeaked Mouse. Oops, sorry, said Frog. It's all right, said Mouse, because this story is ours. It is, said Frog, yes. What if Frog and Mouse open the door and there were infinity jillion butterflies, suggested Frog. Or just a half a jillion, requested Mouse. Can we have a fairy, asked Frog. Maybe, said Mouse. Do fairies live in gardens? If we want them to, said Frog. And Mouse, now is this story by Mouse and Frog? Of course, said Mouse. I like that, Mouse. Me too, Frog. The end. Who is Deborah Friedman? I have no idea. <laughs>